Christian Pentecostal Mission International, Houston, Texas, presents Your Hour of Miracle. Are you dejected? Rejected? Battered? Confused or depressed? I have good news for you, there is hope. The blind see, the lame walk, sinners are saved. Captives are set free. It is never a dull moment. Ministering, Dr. Frank Benjamin, host. Reverend Dr. O. Ezekiel, the General Overseer, and Reverend Dr. M. Ezekiel, the National and International Coordinator. Come and experience the God of Wonder. CPM, Jesus Christ is Lord. Am I talking to somebody? When you are making choices, open your eyes, pray well, and think well. Listen, if I have my way, eh, I won't be a pastor. You know I don't have my way. You know why? Somebody will go and make, go and carry, make choices and carry problems and put upon his head. When the thing becomes tough, he comes to me, Pastor, pray on I won't die. Now you take your hand, decide in that problem. And now when the problem starts coming, he starts calling me to come and pray. I go pray, 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 pray. And I say, God, help me. God, help me. If I tell you the kind of things I hear about people, because what, I, what my ear hears, my mouth cannot say it. But if you make the right decision from the beginning, there won't have been any need for those prayers. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord now. I hope I've not lost thought this morning. <laughs> When you make the wrong choice, you will end up with confusion. Pastor, I'm confused. It is because of the choice you made. People have reasons and they have excuses to tell you why they did not succeed in life. But the main reason why people don't succeed is because they make wrong choices. There's a man I've seen and I know, and if I, I read the history of his life and I dis discover that if you look into him very well, he has no reason to be as successful as he is. Who is that? The Obama of America. Let's analyze his life. Number one, his parents were divorced. And if you, if you study sociology, they will let you, they will teach you that most children from divorced home does not end up in anything good. True or false? But his parents were divorced. Number two, if you come to the society where he lived, he is a relegated person. He is a minor. He is a non-entity. In America, the blacks are not regarded. Am I talking to somebody? And they, they, they made us to believe and to understand that this, they, they program the system so that the blacks will not have the opportunity to rise to the top. And then he lived in that system. He saw the laws. He made up his mind that he's going to conquer it. He saw the conditions and he decided, I am going to break through. He saw the problem. He says, I will be different. I tell people that are close to me, I don't think in the balls. I think outside the balls. I make up my mind that when it becomes difficult, that's when I decide to work. Because if I'm like others, I've not, I've not done anything new. This is not for you to decide. Make up your mind. What is that thing impossible? That thing that looks difficult. That that looks like there's no way out. Try it and you see yourself succeeding. You might, you might make a choice and say, okay. You see, Mr. A have tried. He did not succeed. <laughs> Mr. B tried to. He did not succeed. And in fact, I'm not strong enough. I don't have enough money. I don't have enough. Th th those are good reasons. I know why you are bringing those reasons out. You are, you are, you are you're already deciding to fail. You're already making a choice to be a failure. I tell people, I have a philosophy that says, nothing is good or bad, but thinking makes it so. Nothing is hard or difficult, but thinking makes it so. As you think, that is the way you are. If you think you're a great man, 
you will become a great man. But if you think that you're a failure, and you look at you very well, failure will be written over you. Hello? Listen, do you know the most handsome man that God ever created? Have you seen him before? Look at him here. Am I talking to somebody? Do you know the tallest man, if tall, is, 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 is what it means to describe handsome? Look at him here. Because if you are taller than me, you are a mistake. If you are taller than me, something is wrong with you. But this is the correct model that God wants you to create, to, to, to create other people. The, what, how do you think about Listen, I think sometimes I will just sit down and begin to imagine myself as a multi millionaire. And I will begin to laugh. And I begin to think, what would I do tomorrow? How would I achieve this? How would I achieve that? And the more I think, the more I imagine those things, I see myself coming to achieve them. Praise the Lord. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. How many of you have been thinking yourself to be a failure? God said, I tell you this morning, you are coming out of that thinking, thinking, in Jesus' name. It is time for you to make up your mind. God created you for a purpose. And God created you to take over the earth. He has given you power to dominate. He has given you power to conquer. But many of us have made the choice to serve under people. And what is the consequence? You become a servant for the rest of your life. Christian Pentecostal Mission International presents Explosion of Miracles, date, Wednesday, 25th to Sunday, 29th of October 2017, time, 7.30 p.m. daily, Friday, 10 p.m., Sunday, 10 a.m., venue, 11309 Bazonit Street, Houston, Texas, 77099, ministering, Dr. Frank Benjamin, host. This program is a miracle service. Therefore, what you have come here to do is to receive your miracle. It's not a day of too much of talk talk. It's a day of the manifestation of the power of God. Therefore, something will happen this morning. Holy God! That's the power. That's the power. Yes, yes. I said it. I said it. Watch a step. What a power, what a power. In the middle, yeah, the power is there. That's the power, that's the power. That's the power. Somebody help me. That's the power. That's the power, that's the power. That's the power, that's the power. Oh my God, look at what God is doing here. Look at what God is doing here. Look at what God is doing here. The anointing is there. The anointing is there. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. The power, the power. Ah, that's it. The power, come on. That's number two. Yes, Lord. Go to me, seven of them. Please, all shall help me. Seven of last number two. Seven of them, seven of them. Where are they? God. Reverend the Feeney Covenant, Senior Pastor, CPM Maryland, USA. Reverend Dr. O. Ezekiel, the General Overseer, and Reverend Dr. M. Ezekiel, the National and International Coordinator. Come and experience the God of Wonder. CPM, Jesus Christ is Lord. When I was in the university, most of my men they will, they will say that when I, if you ask them questions, they will tell that when, we, when I graduate, I will go and seek for work. I will go and seek for work. Some are telling you there's no job. Some, 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 some people are thinking that why should I even school? Because when you are done schooling, there's no job anywhere. But I was like, what are these people talking about? I'm not even thinking of going to, going to look for any employment. I was thinking of establishing my own company. Amen. In fact, before I finished university, I've already started my own company. Why my mates are looking for current money and certificate to go and start for a job? I was already employing other people. That is even too far. I started my first company immediately at me secondary school. Secondary school at the age of 18 was when I started Alpha Productions. Praise the Lord. In fact, when I even started the, 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 the studio self, I don't even know many things about the job. I just saw the things that others are doing, and I can learn small. I like it. I've started doing it. I believed in myself. You, if you don't believe in yourself, you're going to make, you're already making the choice to be a failure. Praise the Lord. One of the consequences of not believing in yourself is making a choice to fail. If a man is a failure in life, look at the choices he made. That is the consequence. Hello. Look at the choices he has made in his life. Nobody is created to be a failure. Nobody. Nobody. But people make the choice to fail. 
I was watching, I watched one, one, uh, one um, wrestling match one day. And I call that wrestling match um, the mouse and the elephant. Because seriously, it was a combination of mouse and elephant, two people. I've forgotten the, the, the two people, there are two famous people. One is a boxer, but very small, far smaller than me. And the other one is a very big wrestler, and they were fighting. The big guy was beating him, beating him. He would run, the guy, at, at the time, he ran away, said, I'm not fighting again. The guy went and carried him with one hand, brought him beside the ring, and continued beating him. But at the end of the day, he made a little mistake. And the small rat, Piam, stayed on top of him, and they, even the referee said, "Follow the boy." Said, referee, you know, there is a country. If the if the, if the referee is interested in you winning, he will count the team fast. <laughs> Hello. Say, so, many guys stood on the referee, and then one, two, three, carry hand up. Yeah. When we rise up, he say he has won. He ran away. <laughs> but already he has won the fight. But if you look at them. Naturally, there's no way he will win. But I believe in his mind that before he went into the wrestling match, he has made up his mind. Like I used to tell myself, even if I lose, I try. <laughs> Hello? You see, I was in too much alert and I don't used to fight my mates. Because I know one thing, if I fight my mate and you beat me, shame on me. If I beat you, I've not done anything high. But if I fight someone that is bigger than me, ah, if you beat me, I try. And if I beat you, double honor. What are the choices you are making in life? Every day of our life, we make choices and there are consequences. For instance, church used to, like last week Sunday we were fed up. Do you know some people made a choice not to come to church this morning? And the consequence is that they will not hear this word. As I'm talking to you, many of our members are at work. Some are at home. They made a choice to go to work, Right? They made a choice. That is their choice. And what is the consequence? The consequence when the trouble comes and they come back to pastor, the pastor pray. Am I talking to somebody? In, I don't know how it is in America, but in Nigeria where I come from, I know that when a girl gives birth to a child out of wedlock, it's a very bad thing, right? But for you to even get pregnant, you made a choice to commit fornication. You made a choice to sleep with a, to sleep with a boy before marriage. And what are the consequence? Nine months. Praise the Lord. If a man or a woman ends up in jail, that was a choice. If you make a choice to steal somebody's property, the consequence is that you will end up in jail. Every choice you make, there is a consequence. There is a consequence. In marriage, any choice you make in marriage, there's a consequence. Would it be positive or negative? Praise the Lord. In conclusion, Christian Pentecostal Mission International presents Explosion of Miracles, date Wednesday, 25th to Sunday, 29th of October 2017, time 7.30 p.m. daily, Friday 10 p.m., Sunday 10 a.m. Venue, 11309 Bazonet Street, Houston, Texas, 77099. Ministering, Dr. Frank Benjamin, host. This program is a miracle service. Therefore, what you have come here to do is to receive your miracle. It's not a day of too much of talk talk. It's a day of the manifestation of the power of God. Therefore, something will happen this morning. Holy God! the power. That's the power. Yes, yes. Ha, ha, ha. I said it. I said it. Oh my God. What an awesome anointing. What a power. What a step. What a step. What a step. What a step. What a power. What a power. In the middle the power is there. That's the power. That's the power. That's the power. Somebody help. That's the power. 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 Oh my God. Look at what God is doing here. Look at what God is doing here. Look at what God is doing here. The anointing is here. The anointing is there. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Your power. Your power. Please, Osha's help me. Seven, last number two. Seven.
seven of them, seven of them. Where are they? God, Reverend Lefini Covenant, Senior Pastor, CPM Maryland, USA. Reverend Dr. O. Ezekiel, the General Overseer, and Reverend Dr. M. Ezekiel, the National and International Coordinator. Come and experience the God of Wonder. CPM, Jesus Christ is Lord. In conclusion, the question is this. That decision you are making, will you be happy with the consequence of that decision? I'll take one thing for example. So many of us are in one problem or the other this morning. But are you, are you really making a choice to come out of that condition, to come out of that situation? That was like I gave us my testimony. When I was growing up, the number one problem I had in my life was my mom. Because being a Christian, we became at long ahead with each other. She persecuted me. I told her the story. One day I was preaching. She came, took my Bible, and flew it inside the canal. Thank God in those days we used to have both morning service and evening service. So if I go to church on Sunday morning, I don't come back till in the night. Why? Because if I come back home, I will be, I will fe the consequence of my going to church is that I will be flogged. So what I did is that after church service in the morning, I will go for visitation. After visitation, I will wait for evening service. After evening service, I will now go home ready to be beaten by my mom. I made a choice to go to church. And the consequence is that she will flog me. Praise the Lord. Now, when I was growing up, I would have decided to allow her to follow the life she's following. But I made a choice that this nonsense must stop. Hmm. <laughs> Listen, our life is the expression of our decisions and indecision. There are some problems you are having in your life. What have you decided about that thing? You have, you have decided to allow it just to go like that. Or have you decided to say, today, this nonsense must stop. And what will be the consequence? It will stop. Because Luke chapter 10 verse 19, Behold, I give unto you power to throw upon serpents and scorpions and over the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by enemies hurt us. Last week, we talked about removal of garments. Some, some people have made their choice to remove their garment, but some decided to allow it to stay there. The consequence is that they will continue in that problem. This morning, God starts to tell somebody, you are coming out of that predicament. Yeah. If only you can decide that this nonsense must stop. If you can make that choice. Look at where we read this morning. Let's go back to it and then we'll conclude. Now, therefore, verse 14. Fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity and in truth. Me that some people are not serving this God in sincerity and in truth. Some are serving him with eye service. Some are serving him in the open, but in the, in the secret, they are doing whatever they like to do. And put away the gods which your father served. Like I told us here, I put away the God that my mom served. I put away the God. My mom served a bad God, and I put away that God. Praise the Lord. Put away the God which your father served on the other side of the flood. And in Egypt... And serve you the Lord. Because if you don't put away those gods, what are the consequences? The consequences of you not putting away those gods is that you will see yourself not succeeding whatever you're doing. Because the devil come here but to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But Christ come that with man have life and have it more abundantly. Am I talking to somebody? I don't know the kind of negative God that your father served this morning. We are going to decide to put them away. And they will be away forever in Jesus' name. Listen to me. I refuse to be held, to be held under bondage by the devil. No way. It is an error. It's an error. It's an error. Am I talking to somebody? I refuse it. I refuse it. I told us my story here. I'm one of the people that you don't even expect to be a child of God, not to be a pastor. But I made up my mind that I will not follow. I decided. I made the choice. I will not follow the route that my mother followed. I will not follow the route that my father followed. And today, this is the consequence of my decision. I don't know how many of all that will decide to follow me on that route. So you can serve this God. He says, and if it seems evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve. We are the gods which your father followed. And what, be, and what is the consequence? The consequence is the problem which you've been having. 
That's the God of the Amorites. But as for me and my house, our, our choice is to serve the Lord. I don't know how many of you will say with me this morning, I want to put away the God that my father served. I want to put away the God that my family served. And I want to serve God. And I want to stand for the consequence. If God can be good to me, he will be good to you. Amen. Christian Pentecostal Mission International presents Explosion of Miracles. Date, Wednesday, 25th to Sunday, 29th of October 2017. Time, 7.30 p.m. daily. Friday, 10 p.m. Sunday, 10 a.m. Venue, 11309 Bazonit Street, Houston, Texas. 77099. Ministering, Dr. Frank Benjamin, host. This program is a miracle service. Therefore, what you have come here to do is to receive your miracle. It's not a day of too much of talk talk. It's a day of the manifestation of the power of God. Therefore, something will happen this morning. Holy God! That's the power. That's the power. Yes, yes. <laughs> I said it. I said it. Oh my God, what an awesome anointing. What a power. What has helped? What has helped? What has helped? What has helped? What a power, what a power. In the middle, yeah, the power is there. That's the power, that's the power. That's the power, somebody help, that's the power. That's the power, that's the power. That's the power, that's the power. Oh my God, look at what God is doing here. Look at what God is doing here. Look at what God is doing here. The anointing is there. The anointing is there. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. The power, the power. Ah, that's it, the power, come on. That's number two, yes, Lord. Go to me, seven of them. Please, all shall help me. Seven of that's number two. Seven of them, seven of them. Reverend the Feeney Covenant, Senior Pastor, CPM Maryland, USA. Reverend Dr. O. Ezekiel, the General Overseer, and Reverend Dr. M. Ezekiel, the National and International Coordinator. Come and experience the God of Wonder. CPM, Jesus Christ is Lord. Praise the Lord now. Hallelujah. The consequence of serving God is blessing will go with you. Listen, I will conclude with this. The same person I always use illustration. And that is Joseph. Joseph came at a point in his life. There is a choice and there is a consequence. What is the choice? <sighs> Decide to sleep with Potiphar. And if you sleep with the party, what is the consequence? The consequence, hear me, I'll give us in two ways. The consequence of sleeping with Potiphar's wife is that you'll be promoted. <laughs> Am I talking to somebody? Sleep with consequence uh, with a uh, Potiphar's wife, I will give you promotion. And uh, if you don't sleep with Potiphar's wife, what is the consequence? You will go to jail. Choose now what you will do. Enjoy a pleasure for 10 minutes and get promotion. Or refuse to enjoy promo uh, a pleasure and go to jail. But now he now came back to himself. He now looked at it from another point. I'm looking at it from two perspectives. Number one perspective from the physical perspective or from the devil's point of view. And now let's look at it from Joseph's own point of view, from God's own point of view. And that is this if you commit sin, the consequence is that you will be destroyed. The consequence is that your destiny will be taken away from you. The consequence is that you have you have you have taken yourself away from God. So who will I fear, man or God? Jesus said, "No way. I better. I. I. I it, I. it is better for me to go to jail and start with God, so that my 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 destiny will not be taken away from me." And he made the choice of going to jail. And what is the consequence? His destiny was restored. Am I talking to somebody? Moses had a choice. And what was the choice? He had a choice to become the next Pharaoh. Because Moses was adopted in the family of Pharaoh. And nobody knew, apart from the family of Pharaoh, nobody knew that Moses was an Israelite. But he decided, it's not me to be a king and eat king's meal. I better suffer with the children of Israel. And what happened? When he made that decision, the consequence was that he was put in exile. But while he was in exile, what happened to him? He received a call from God. He became the leader of the children of Israel. I had to go back to redeem the people of God. The choice he made made him to become king. What is your choice and what will be the consequence? We are going to pray. We are going to pray. 
Maybe you have made a choice like David, and the consequence is bringing a problem in your life today. There's a second chance. Maybe you made a choice like Samson, and the consequence that your future has been taken away from you, your destiny has been taken away from you. There's a second chance. Because when Samson received the second Christian Pentecostal Mission International presents Explosion of Miracles, date, Wednesday, 25th to Sunday, 29th of October 2017, time, 7.30 p.m. daily, Friday, 10 p.m., Sunday, 10 a.m., venue, 11309 Bazonit Street, Houston, Texas, 77099, ministering, Dr. Frank Benjamin, host. This program is a miracle service. Therefore, what you have come here to do is to receive your miracle. It's not a day of too much of talk talk. It's a day of the manifestation of the power of God. Therefore, something will happen this morning. Holy God! That's the power. That's the power. Yes, yes. I said it. I said it. Watch yourself. What a power, what a power. In the middle, the power is there. That's the power, that's the power. That's the power. Somebody help that's the power. That's the power, that's the power. That's the power, that's the power. Oh my God, look at what God is doing here. Look at what God is doing here. Look at what God is doing here. The anointing is here. The anointing is there. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. The power, the power. Ah, that's just the power. Come on. That's number two. Yes, Lord. Go to me, seven of them. Please, all shall help me. Seven of last number two. Reverend the Feeney Covenant, Senior Pastor, CPM Maryland, USA. Reverend Dr. O. Ezekiel, the General Overseer, and Reverend Dr. M. Ezekiel, the National and International Coordinator. Come and experience the God of Wonder. CPM, Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord.